Hello everyone, Professor Franz here. Today we're going to talk about perfect competition. So here are some characteristics of a perfectly competitive market. First of all, we have many sellers. Each is small and insignificant. And the firms are all producing a homogeneous product. So there is no product differentiation whatsoever. And because products are homogeneous, each producer is a price taker. So the price is determined by the market demand and supply. Once the price is determined, each firm will just take the price as is. Notice that the reason why we have so many sellers is that it is easy to enter the market. It is easy to exit the market. One example will be agricultural products. So think about it. If you want to sell some agricultural products, what do you need? You need a piece of land and you need some seeds. So it is easy to enter the market. It is also easy to exit because you can just sell the land and you can say bye bye to the industry. So these are some characteristics of a perfectly competitive market. Now we are ready to distinguish between the market demand curve and the demand curve that each firm faces. Our market demand curve is downward sloping. And at the intersection of the market demand curve and market supply curve, we get the price P star. So this price P star is determined in the market. Once this price is determined, each firm will just take the price as given. And each firm will have to sell their product at price P star. There is no need for you to lower the price to sell more. Why is that? Because remember, each firm is small and insignificant. So given the current price, your firm can sell as many units as it wants without lowering the price. At the same time, your firm cannot increase the price because if you just increase the price tiny a little bit, then all your buyers are going to switch to other sellers who are selling exactly the same product at price P star. And therefore, you cannot change the price. That's why we say that you're a price taker. And also, the demand curve you face is perfectly elastic. If you remember, we mentioned this before. When you have a perfectly elastic demand curve, that means you cannot change the price. And also, when you're a price taker, that means the price is exactly equal to marginal revenue. And in the next slide, I'm going to explain why. Now I'm going to explain why is that if you're a price taker, that means price is also equal to marginal revenue. The definition of marginal revenue using plain English is this. The additional revenue you get by selling one additional unit of the product. Or mathematically, it is change in total revenue divided by change in quantity. So why is that marginal revenue is exactly equal to price if you are a price taker? Imagine that I'm selling markers and markers are being sold in a perfectly competitive market. Now suppose the market decides that the price of one marker is equal to $2. So that's the price of a marker, $2. Now, when I'm selling one marker, that means I'm going to get additional revenue, $2. Why? Because the market says that price is $2. So for each marker I sell, I get $2. So adding two additional dollars to my revenue, well, that's just the definition of marginal revenue. And therefore, if you're a price taker, that means price is equal to marginal revenue. At the same time, we know that average revenue is equal to total revenue divided by quantity. But total revenue is also equal to price times quantity. So price times quantity divided by quantity is exactly price. And therefore, for a price taker, marginal revenue is equal to price, which is also equal to the average revenue.